that the today's vlog is going to be a compilation of things that you have missed while over there enjoying your trip in Europe. Now, um, I tried to show you my flip-flops earlier, and this happened. Check them out! Woo! So I'm just going to show you like this. They're plushy. I don't know why that was so vitally important, but I guess I'm just excited that it's going to be summer soon. And this entire compilation of stuff that you missed will be a memory, because you'll be here this summer, and you won't have to miss anything. Tiffany, if you'd like, feel free to fill in anything I've left out or anything that you feel is also important so far in 2009. Even though we are in the midst of a recession, it's still a word that nobody wants to say because they still have hope that maybe this will all go away. Unfortunately, by talking to some random other people, they're saying that it might take at least a year for everything to get straightened out again. And because of this recession, many popular places are going out of business, such as Ruby Tuesdays and Charlie Brown's. Also, many other places like Chrysler and GM, the president actually ordered them to merge together to stay safe, uh, but Chrysler is actually thinking that they might file for bankruptcy. And the Obamas got a new dog for the White House. He is like a Labradoodle or a, some, a water dog or... Robert Downey Jr. is back and hotter than ever in this season's wonderful new movies. The news media urges parents to check their children's phones in fear of sexting. Lindsay Lohan was reportedly a lesbian when she and her really freakishly ugly partner, Samantha Ronson, were seen at every nightclub imaginable. Although, they did split up quite recently, and she's freaking torn apart. Boohoo. Beloved Golden Girl star B. Arthur dies. Other tragedy in the media, John Travolta's young son dies, as well as Natasha Richardson, lovely wife of Liam Neeson. The search is on for the Craigslist killer, apparently a med student who was murdering women on the Craigslist.com, and uh, he's now reportedly in custody and is on trial. Popular young woman Melissa Rycroft from The Bachelor was chosen by what's his face? I don't even remember. He's a jerk though. Because he decided, oh, I don't want you, I want the other girl. And she was skyrocketed to fame when she appeared on Dancing with the Stars and really showed her talent. A woman was attacked while visiting her friend who owned a chimpanzee. He couldn't get her off of her friend, so she ended up killing him. Pharmacy admits to a big medical mistake when uh, giving steroids to 21 polo horses before a big match. All of them died right before. Susan Boyle on Britain's Got Talent freaking wowed the judges, and I think it may be the first time I've ever seen Simon Callow smile. A big oops for the Air Force. <laughs> they were shooting a photo shoot in New York with their planes and they never told anyone outside of the Air Force. So uh, pe it was pandemonium in New York when planes were flying way, way too low. Everyone instantly thought it was another 9-11. And at the top of the news currently we have the swine flu which apparently started out as just a normal flu virus but then Thousands and thousands of schools across the U.S. are closing, all in 12 different states, I believe. And it apparently originated in Mexico somewhere, and we already had one death in Texas. But apparently it's at like a level 5. It's, it's Everyone's in pandemonium. It's kind of freaky. And that's it for today. I'm sure I'll keep you updated on other stuff if you didn't already know it already. You probably did, but anyway. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your time over in Italy, because soon you'll be rejoining the ranks of the fear-based America.